Hi, Chanel here from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial I will demonstrate how to use the free Simple Download Monitor plugin to create a basic downloadable item. The downloadable item you create can then be displayed on any WordPress post or page so that visitors coming to your website can easily click a button to receive the expected download. The Simple Download Monitor plugin allows admin to track the number of times a file has been downloaded, it logs the IP of the visitor, the date of the download, the country from which the item was downloaded and the username of the visitor where possible. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to make sure you have the Simple Download Monitor plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ installed and activated on your WordPress website. If you're yet to complete that step, pause the tutorial and take a minute to do so prior to continuing. The plugin can be downloaded directly from your WordPress dashboard or if you prefer, from the homepage of our website. We are now ready to create our very first download. You'll see a menu titled Download. Click on this and then click on Add New. On this page here is where we'll need to complete a number of fields with the information about our downloadable item. We will also need to attach the intended download and a thumbnail image if we wish to increase the chance of our visitors making the leap and clicking Download Now. I'll begin creating my download by adding a title and a short description about the download. So in this example, I'll just be creating a wallpaper image which I'll allow my visitors to then download. Once you've done that, you'll just need to scroll down further and we'll attach our downloadable file. Under the downloadable file section is where we'll select the file which we'll attach to this item which your visitor will be able to download. So that'll either be your image, your video, your song, your audio clip, anything like that. So you'll just click select file and you'll either upload a new file by clicking select files or you'll go to your media library and use a previous image, video or audio that you already have on your website. So that's what I'll be doing here today. I'm just clicking on this one and I'm going to insert that. So that will be the image that my visitors to my site who click on the download now button will receive. If I scroll down further, I can choose to open the download in a new window, which I will do. And I can also add a file thumbnail. So I'm going to choose that same media library image insert, although this will be represented as a smaller image if I use one of the fancy display templates. So if I'm scrolling down further, I can offset the download count but I want a true count of how many downloads has occurred, so I'll leave that as zero. So then when anyone comes to my site and downloads, it will add one. Scrolling down further, I can add the size of my file. So I'll just do 2.1 megabytes. There we go. I'll show my file size in the fancy display. Version, this is just one. Version one, I'll show my version in the fancy display. And I can show the publish date as well in the fancy display. So I've marked all of them just so I can show you what that will look like once I use the fancy display template. My button text, I'm going to say download image now. So I've written that in and it's here at the bottom that I'd like you to take note of the short code section. Once you've published out this downloadable item, you can come back here and you can copy and paste any of these short codes onto a post or a page of your choosing to show this downloadable item. So this is one way that you can show a downloadable item on a post or a page, but shortly here I'll show you how we can use the simple download monitor block inserter option to then put a download in a post or a page. So it's really up to you which one you use. If you're just going to copy them, you can just simply click and go copy. But if you'd like to learn how to use the other method, which I find a lot easier, just follow along here now. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to publish out this downloadable item. Also make sure that you add a category and some tags if you're doing a real life download. So for me, this is just a test. So I'll just leave that section blank for now. And I'll go ahead and I'll publish that out. So once you've published out a download, if you click on that downloads menu there, you'll be able to see your new downloadable item. So I've actually got a couple of other ones there that I've done, but here's that wallpaper image that we just created. For now, I'm going to create a new page where I'll show you how you can use the simple download monitor block inserter option. So on your new page, you'll just need to add a title. So mine's just wallpaper image download and then click to add a new block, click that little plus symbol, add block. And then if you go down just slightly, you'll see the common blocks section. 
Just arrow down on that one and you'll see SDM download block. If you click on that one, you'll get the block menu option on the right hand side of your page or post. It's here that we'll need to select our download item, choose a template, a button color, button text, and choose if we'd like to open download in a new window. So for my download item, it's just my wallpaper image. The template by default is fancy zero, which will only show the download now button. If you'd like to show your other details, you can pick between fancy one, which is displayed like this, or fancy two. So fancy two is more of a compact design. For me, I'll be using fancy one in this demonstration. Then you'll need to pick the button color. So this will change the color of the download button. By default, it is green. So you can do blue, you can do gray, you can pick between any of these colors. I'll go for pink. That'll match in nicely with my wallpaper image graphic there. The button text you can alter again, although if you've already altered this in the download page, that will actually be represented there already. So you might like to alter it for this specific page or post, but if not, just leave it as if and it will take what you've written in that download page. You can choose to also open download in a new window for this particular page or post. These two options, button text and open download in a new window are for people who want to advertise this download in more than one place, but want different things to happen for each page or post. So now that we've configured all that, I can go up and I can click the publish button. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and I'll view that page. If I scroll down just slightly, I can see my download there. I can see all the details in that fancy one display. And if I'm to click that download image now, it should open up in a new window. So we'll go ahead and we'll see what that looks like. Download now, my new window has opened and I can see that image that I wish to download. While many of our customers use this plugin to simply create and offer downloadable items, others like to track how many times their items have been downloaded and by who. The simple download monitor log and stats menu is where you can find recorded data to help you better track your downloads. We'll take a look at those menus now. To view those sub menus, we'll head back to our WordPress dashboard. So they appear under the downloads menu, you'll see logs and stats. If I click on logs, you can see all of the items that have been downloaded on my website. It records the title of the downloadable item, the file, the visitor's IP, the date of download, the country where it was downloaded if possible, and the username of the person who downloaded it if they're logged into your website. So here you can see I was logged in, then I wasn't logged in, wasn't logged in, logged in, logged in. So it'll only record their username if they're actually logged into the website and it can find a WordPress user. So that's basically the log file. You can also reset your log file entries there and you can export the log files there if you want to put them in an Excel or you want to do some other stats with them. But in the stats menu, it actually gives you a bit of a record of how many items were downloaded for each date. So I can see there was a spike in downloads there and then slowly that's come down. So this gives you a really good idea of when visitors have been coming to your website and downloading specific items. That brings us to the end of this tutorial on the basic usage of the Simple Download Monitor and Manager plugin. Hopefully by now you've been able to follow along and set up your very own downloadable item on your WordPress website. If you're still having trouble with the setup, browse our documentation page or feel free to write to us via our contact page. I have also linked below some of the Simple Download Monitor add-ons that you may be interested in to add additional functionality to your website, such as the Squeeze Form add-on that ensures you collect an email address of users prior to them being able to download and the secure downloads add-on that allows you to protect the actual location of a downloadable item and add an after download redirection. I hope our users continue to enjoy the simple download monitor plugin.